Welcome to another exciting edition of FinVids, where I look for some gems and see if there's any opportunities for us to partake in today. We'll get right into it. Um, let's see. So CCSI is our third edition, uh, three days straight in a row. CCSI. And basically, all I do is use free tools, so no expense to us, keep our profitability at a maximum. And the first thing we do, we bring this up, and then we see low PE. That's how we did our filters. We'll get into that in a minute. And the week high, where our timing isn't perfect, but then again, we're just doing it. We're just building a list right now to see what stocks we want to invest in. And we're going to recap that at the end of the week. Uh, 26, so you're about third from the high. That's good. Uh, timing is pretty good here. Six months, the stock is trailing the market. Not what we want. We like when the black is above the orange line. And the, the more it is, the better our chances are making money. So this company hasn't been around this long. We, we did a decade and you can see that it's only been around for two years. So it's a two year time frame. They're a little over two years. Three. Yeah. So they started here. And now this year they've been trailing the market. Another thing we can do is um, that quick glance, we can show the earnings. So our earnings are peaking up a little bit. Maybe that's why this little boost here. Bring up our friends at Macro Trends. CCSI, check out their earnings. This is the lifeblood of the company and definitely can tell a lot from the earnings. So 1070 was 2019, then it just steadily went down, which is what we're looking for is the opposite. As investors, we like predictably Increased earnings, not decreased earnings, but their quarterly is on a rise, $78, $7.22. So a little back on track. And then we can take a look at their money situation on consensus. See if it's something we want to do. So they had a lot more money now. They don't. So this is just a, a downward spiral with this company. So I'm just going to pass on this one. Go to the next one. Uh, Universal Logistics Holding. They're a trucking company. Okay. ULH. We will do that. As you can tell. By the tone of my voice, I, I don't know what these companies are. <laughs> you know, I, I have 400 companies on a hot list that, that I track regularly. And the only way to, to keep them on the top 400 is to research new companies to see if they are the best in class. Because there's always new companies coming out of the woodwork that are challenging the companies I have on there. And those companies obviously change over time, too. So you always got to. You got to do this daily. Uh, keep on your A game. Okay, so you get a little dividend here. That's nice, 1.6. I don't like yields over 3%. I like yields around this range. So that's a good, good start. Uh, P is low, of course. And then the 52 week range, we're a little off from the low. You know, I like to be at the low. You know, then you have the greater chance to make more money. But Okay, um, let's check them out over the 10 year and see how we're doing. 
Yeah, see, this is the opposite of what we're looking for. We want the market to leg the company, not the other way around. And over five years, it's about a tie. I mean, that's pretty bad pace. And six months were below. So kind of trailing, earnings show down. And the other one I like to do is the momentum. So we're at there. Shows like the market, the buying and selling at a quick glance. Okay. So, I mean, our sweet spot is earnings up and momentum down. That's what we like. And that rarely happens on quality companies. But I mean, that's something to take note of. Because you make money quick that way. Uh, ULH. So we will check them out further in their earnings. And we'll do still a few companies a day and then get a real feel of this. And then we'll recap them and then see what we're going to invest in. Uh, Matt's and Freight, I done the same way. I just closed the deal. I made 50%. They're going to probably go a little higher, but I don't want to be too greedy. Uh, market had a nice run up and I got 50% and I'm out. So that money, uh, we're going to find out doing this exact thing that I'm showing you is where we're going to put that 50% gain. In ULH right now, I like it. Uh, let's see, 2017, $99, $84, $34, $78, $274, 60, 37 They had a great year last year. Let's see if this year can can, can just keep up with that. And now we're kind of lagging it. Dollar eighty two sixty, maybe end with a four or something. So you're down a little bit, however... You're still doubling in 2017. So that's still a quality stock. Let's just check their money situation. If that looks good, I'll definitely put them on my hit list and keep an eye out for them and do a little more research and see what we think. Okay. So that's what I, okay. That's what I like. Money keeps going up. You got 8,046. All positive stuff, uh, nice dividend, something to wet your beak on. So I, I always like that. And I've been sending a, a gem list. So we'll put that there. Go H. We have Google working for us. So it'll give us the latest price quote on that. And we'll go to the next one. Okay, Harley Davidson, hog. I know they had their troubles. They had their troubles because, you know, the the new, you know, uh, just saw the crotch rockets and things like that hurt their business and things like that. Get, getting new age people, you know, involved in the bikes. That was one of their problems. Low PE uh, yield, 1.86. 35 is a... Decent price, could have got them at 25, but we'll see how they compare against the market over the 10 year and then maybe the five year. See what that looks like. Yeah, see the market is just crushing hog. They had a rough 10 years. They're Milwaukee company, they're going to Pennsylvania a lot, changing things up, trying to become more profitable. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, still tra trailing not as much. It looks better. So maybe they're changing their marketing strategy. Okay, two years looks decent. I like that. See what it looks like in six months. Keep in kind of pace, a little below. Okay. That's enough solid stuff there to check them out further. Check out the Harley Davidson. See what their earnings looks like. 
They've been around forever. 303, 321, 270, 423, 5. So, yeah, very good. Let's see if they're on pace for a six. I'd like to see six, two, four, five. Yeah. All right. Uh, Harley Davidson, very good. Uh, we'll just check their money situation, see how that looks, and then probably put them on a hot list. Yeah, their money, their free cash has gone down. 686 mil, 854, and then it's up a little bit, trailing 12 months. So, yeah, they have money in a bank to pay increasing dividends as us investors. That's what we're looking for, not just dividends, but are you going to be loyal to us, the investors? Are you going to give us more money? per year after year. And that's what makes it advantageous for us to invest in you. And once you buy a Harley, I know a lot of Harley people, they stick to Harley. They got their tours all over the US. It's a, you know, definitely a brand, you know, they have their, that noise patent actually. <laughs> when they start up their engines, that's a patent noise that Harley has. So Sioux Falls, all that good stuff. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a possible investment that we'll look into. That's good to see that they're turning things around. I'm, I'm really glad. I, I'm pro-business. I love when companies can stay profitable. It's so good for the economy. You know, Alfred's jobs, health care, you know, encourages families and things like that. So very positive to see that. CCRN. I might do just two more here and then cut it short. It's the weekend. I know I do work throughout the weekend. I know I understand markets close and whatnot, but I get the best, uh, in my opinion, but my best work on Saturday, Sunday. It's, it's good when you just don't have, you know, the market in front of you, all these different things. Take a break and, get caught up yeah so the tail of the tape here is they were winning for a few years and then they were down for a few years and now this is so this could just be one of these companies that just has you know like a a three-year life cycle it looks like you have three years plus three years and then three years back again so and if you understand these cycles of the companies and guess what you can buy make your profits and, and you know what's going on there's pr predictability in the marketplace means profitability for us investors. All right, so I'm just gonna try to get the year. Yeah, down again. <laughs> this might be one of their, going back down to that three year cycle of, of doom, but okay. CCRN, low PE, the upside looks good. Definitely upside potential on this one. Uh, let's get a better understanding of them and we'll run one more after this. Cross country healthcare. Yeah, see, this is what I don't like right away. Yeah. Okay, this is quarterly though. Let's go to. So yearly at 2017, you're at a dollar. Then you went to negative 48, dollar 61, dollar 33 and five. So then I'm turning it around. And that's that three year cycle thing. And then now you're flirting with maybe a dollar fifty for the year. And you're at five. Yeah. I I'm just gonna stay away from this one. It fluctuates too much. I'm just not interested. So I'm gonna move on to DVN, Devon Energy for the win, right? Let's see if we can finish this session with a bang. With Devon Energy, usually give it a nice yield. Yep, 6.4. They're at the low point. See, this is what I was talking about, the timing. 
We got it right at the low of the market. 6.4 is always nice as if they can retain it and we'll check that out. And I'll show you uh, some other techniques I use too. But we'll check out, I like to do 10 years, the further out you are, the more data that you get. And that's exactly the opposite of what we like. And they're competing, I'm sure, with Chevron and Exxon. <laughs> those aren't, they can't be fun to uh, compete with those type of companies. It looks like last two years they've been good, which makes sense because energy has been good overall barrels of oils have gone up and you probably felt that at, at the pump. So here's a way to compensate for that, right? Um, invest in energy companies, get some of that money back. Uh, let's see. So the earnings overall look good, crushing the market last two years. Good. So enough good data here. I'll check them out. See what we're working with, with Devon Energy. Okay, yearly, yeah, they had some <laughs> pivotal years. Let's see, $1.71, 614, negative, and then negative again. Ugh. Then you're four and then nine. Let's see what this looks, are we gonna get a 10 this year or where are we gonna get this year? I'm not gonna get a 10, that's for sure, but half of it. See what the money looks like. And we'll look at the dividend track history of, you know, when they go down, are they cutting cutting us investors? What are they doing for us? Let's see. Cash looks great. You know, they definitely have the money to pay out. Yeah. So this is what we do. We go to stock analysis. Just type in BVN. UVN, then you go dividends, dividend growth, see 85%. So every time you feel those down spurts, you're going to get burned. You know, and we don't, I don't like that. I like dividends that continue to increase 22, 24. Then you get, then you're getting a five cents, a fifth. It's like going to work and then getting a fifth of your pay. You know, that's just an insult. So I don't know. I'm not too happy with this company. So I'm not going to put them on my hit list. But uh, let's go with a company that's been known. The favorite investor, like three triple M, 3M, 85 to a dollar, dollar two and a half to a dollar eleven, dollar eighteen, dollar thirty-six, dollar forty-four, dollar forty-seven, forty-eight, fifty. They always increase their their dividend. So us as investors, we love it. Even if the stock drops, you're getting a higher payout. And you have predictability in the marketplace, which is important to us. So okay, well great session today. I appreciate you joining in. We, you know, every Day we're learning, you know, what's out there. And all you need is one company to change around your financial picture. So stay with us and we'll do a recap at the end of the week. Have a great day. Bye.